hello everyone welcome to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so this is the uh, win system the win wave system we developed last time and as you can see there are some win waves that going through this grass field and today what we are going to do is uh, i'll show a preview of that so yeah so in this screen in this preview you can see some kind of a physical wave in this grass field uh, other than this color wave so that's what i'm going to show you today all right so i'll put this project aside and this is my current project so first i'll open my M leaves master material this one and this is the part which uh, gives this uh, wave kind of behavior that we have at the moment these waves so so in order to have some physical deformation to show the wave I have to use this world position offset and I have to give some variation to that offset using this same logic to do that I'll actually I'll go okay I'll copy this and open my MF global here and this is the part which implements the grass wind so i'll paste this here and i'll add not add i'll multiply the output of this grass wind with this one so that when the wind wave is uh, according to the wind wave pattern the grass wind amount of grass wind applied to the mesh will be will have some variation so i'll apply this and before that i think i might run into some problems if i have this same variable names here here and here in this mf global function and also i have the same variables here as well so therefore i'll actually i'll delete this part and uh, i will restore the color variations after this step but for now i will delete this part okay so I'll first apply this one and apply this one too actually my project crashed so let me open it again okay here we go again so first thing is I'll remove this part and apply it before doing anything okay so now again here this part I'll multiply this one like this and like this okay now apply okay no no nothing crashed this time so let's see how does it looks without color wave because we don't have a color wave at the moment because I have removed this part which does the color wave behavior so let's fix it after observing what we 
can achieve only with the physical wind waves. Okay, so the compilation is done and I'm sure you don't notice any visible wind wave here. So yeah so that's because okay I'll open my grass material and I think I'll define a new parameter here to so that we can have some kind of a parameter to control the amplitude of the wind wave like this Amplitude and I'll set the default value to one. Actually, let's set it to two. And oh, I forgot one thing. So, even if I add a multiplier here, this this wouldn't make any effect because I have set the max value to. 1 so I'll set it to 2 actually I think I'll set this max value same as this one so it would be we would have much control over that all right the shader is compiled and I think you should see some kind of a wave that goes across this uh, grass field. If it is not clear, I'll increase the um, amplitude to something like 10 to make it clearly visible. Okay, now I think you should clearly see it. See, it comes from here, goes from this direction to here and goes in that way. So, yeah, but it is to highlight this effect, what we can do is we can do some color change like we did before. So, to do that, I'll define a new output here. Function output and I'll use this one instead of this uh, the one with the amplitude and I'll call this one oh, what should we call this wind wave wind wave okay that's good enough and apply it and I'll go here to shit why did it keep crashing okay the project is back actually I am not sure why does it keep crashing and sorry about that so yeah so we were creating an output Like this and I'll call it win wave and please don't crash again all right okay we we'll have an extra W here right now in back in my
M leaves must material. I'll put this one like here and I'll take this out and clamp it with uh, 0.6 and 1 as we did before and I'll plug this one here and another output here so now we should have restored our previous color change in behavior as well so the reason the main reason to do this is because we have this uh, wind wave calculation part done in our mf global function and if i do the same thing here again so we would be duplicating our code even if this is material this is I love to treat this as a code so duplicating the code isn't not a good thing so I'll I did it like this okay and I'll apply this and let's see what happens okay shaders are compiling no, for, I forgot to load the maps right okay color waves are back I'll just increase the wave width here let's put thousand and yeah so okay as you can see we got the physical wave along with the color wave and I'll increase the noise or oh, let's try decreasing it as well okay so right so that's all for today we got this directional wind and like this okay so that's all for today and see you in the next video i think in the next video i'll work on the grass collisions that means when the player works through walk through this uh, grass field this grass will bend according to the players collisions okay see you in the next video goodbye actually I haven't I'm having one last thought instead of multiplying this one here what if we add this this uh, this sign value output of this sign value here instead of multiplying and I want to see that and also I'm going to increase I have increased this wave width and wave speed to 500 and wave width to 2000 so that uh, well it's uh, something I just wanted to check okay so yeah now it's uh, it looks more nicer than before so you see this uh, wind wave goes from left to right in this direction so and also the physical wave behavior of this grass looks uh, more nicer compared to what we had before we get this wave right here okay and yeah i'm going to end this episode here okay goodbye again see you in the next video